Hey, thanks, man. Come back and see me. Hi there. I don't think I've seen you in before. Well, welcome. Pull up a stool. No, it's totally fine. Please, make yourself comfortable. I'm B. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yep, that's me. Well, technically, I own this place, but I prefer to tend the bar. I like meeting new people. And non-people. You know, we get all kinds here. That's the point, after all. So, who referred you? Oh, don't you know? This is a strictly word-of-mouth establishment. No one can find this place unless someone referred them here. You didn't know that? Oh yeah, we stay on the down low for our safety and privacy. Most of the clientele is... special, at least as far as regular society is concerned. So, we are very discreet. Your secrets are safe here, whatever they are. But to be here, you must have been referred. So who told you about my little bar? Ah, that makes sense. She's always trying to help me grow the business. As if I don't already have my hands full. Uh-huh, she gave you the key to get here. You just didn't know it. Believe it or not, you never could have walked through my door otherwise. No, really, this place has a little... Let's say magic, keeping it protected. It comes in handy in case anyone unsavory sniffs around. Yep, it's a busy night. We get a lot of folks just unwinding after a long week of trying to fit in, or sometimes trying to survive. I'm happy to be a port in the storm, so to speak. I stock a little of everything so that everyone can get what they want. Speaking of which, what are you having? Sounds good. Coming right up. No, it's fine. You're not keeping me. I have other staff. Look around. I like giving my attention to new people. I want to make sure you feel welcome. Plus, you might have a thing or two you want to get off your chest. Bartenders are also counselors. Did you know that? Practically therapists. <laughs> yeah, no, of course that's not true. But I like to listen. I like hearing people's stories. But only if you feel comfortable telling. You're more than welcome to sit quietly and just take it all in if you want. Nurse your drink and exhale from the day. Get your bearings again. This place is good for a sort of reset button on life, you know? Anyway, as for the drink, here you go. Nah, first one's on me. You look like you could use it anyway. We can start a tab if you want to stay a while. Just be careful, okay? Those pack a punch. Now then, what brings you in? Just curiosity about the place? No, it's fine. Curiosity is good. I think a lot of people don't believe it's real when they hear about it. They think it's a joke, I guess? Oh, I get that. I'm used to it. There aren't a lot of places where so many types of... beings, let's say, can hang out and just be themselves together. I get why it's hard to believe it. I mean, look over there. See that table? Yeah, the two guys that look like they just came from work at some accounting firm across town. Well, you wouldn't know it by looking at them. But one's a werewolf and the other's a vampire. No, I'm not going to tell you which is which. It doesn't matter anyway. What matters is that they're friends. No, they are. I'm serious. And that doesn't happen much in the real world, you know? Out there, both of them are caught up in their own lives, their own issues. They deal with the registry and their jobs and their family stuff day by day. Plus, the two communities just don't interact much. It's not like there are vampire werewolf mixers going on at the community center. Yeah, I know, but here... They can be friends. They can drink beer and play darts and just have a good time together. That's pretty awesome, right? Well, no, not everyone is here to have a good time. It's still a bar, not a party room at a pizza place. Some are here drowning their sorrows. In fact, hang on a sec. Hey, Pepper, you done with your drink? You want another? Okay, sweetie, just let me know. Yeah, she's having a bad week. 
She lost her job. Imaginary friend, I think? Apparently she... Well, I probably shouldn't talk about it, but suffice it to say she wasn't great at keeping her targets safe. Yeah, I guess that's the most important thing. I'm not sure, I've never done that job before. But she ended up back at the home office for retraining. Oh, she'll be okay. I don't know if she'll still be an imaginary friend after this, but maybe she can find work somewhere else. She's got a very upbeat personality when she's not, you know, drinking her troubles away. She'll land on her feet. Maybe she can work at a hardware store. I think she's got a pretty extensive knowledge of chains. How's the drink? Good, I like to think I'm not half bad at this. <laughs> so, anything you want to talk about? That's fine, just relax. I'll be around if you need anything. Hmm? Yeah, sure. Ask whatever you like. I'm a pretty open book. Huh. I'll answer, but you should probably know it's not polite to just come out and ask someone if they're human. It's pretty not okay, actually. Just, you know, for future reference. But the answer is no. I'm not human. That is also not something you should really ask. People will tell you about themselves if they feel comfortable doing so. Until then, let private things be private. It's really the best way. Everyone's got their own story, you know? Everyone's on their own path. But in my case, let's just say that my race isn't very common around here. You probably won't meet another of my kind in your lifetime. Nah, that's all. You don't really need to know more than that. If you want to keep guessing, I just won't answer. Thank you, I appreciate that. And I understand. I know how it feels to want to know everything. I get the feeling that you're still learning how to navigate this part of the world. You seem pretty young, or maybe you haven't experienced much yet. Yeah, I get it. Well, this is a good place to start. Everyone here is a friend, if not family. Everyone here looks out for each other. No, we really do. I wouldn't have it any other way. We are all in each other's corners. Including... One sec, I'll be right back. Hey! How you doing, dude? Glad you made it back in. You want the usual? You got it. Give me a minute. Oh, I see you recognize him. Yeah, you should. You'd have to live under a rock not to know who he is. Mm-hmm. He comes in from time to time, always orders the same thing. He helps make sure this place stays underground. It helps to have connections in high places, believe me. Hey, try not to stare. In here, he's just a regular customer. Like you. Like everyone here. Except me, of course. So, just relax. Sip your drink. There you go. In here, everyone is the same. No matter what they are out there. Make sense? Good. I'm really glad you're here. You're gonna do fine. Hang on, let me just... Hey, Laurel, can you take this to that gentleman over there, please? Be careful. Thank you. Her? She's pretty new. I hired her on because she seemed so... enthusiastic. I don't know if she's gonna work out, though. The wings seem to get in the way more than I thought they would, and she's so... fascinated by the strangest things. But I can pay her in buttons and rocks, so there's that. She really doesn't want anything else. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, everyone looking out for each other. Yeah, I'm serious about that. If you want to talk, I'm here. If not, no problem. I've got lots to do to keep me busy. Suit yourself. Now that you've been here, you can always come back. You're welcome anytime you want. For a drink, or a game of darts, or a friendly chat. Sure, ask away. You want to... Oh, I see. Well, if you'd like to get to know anyone here, the easiest way is just to say hi. Most people are pretty welcoming. I promise they don't bite. Well, they don't bite anyone here anyway. No biting allowed in the establishment. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we, we do have rules about stuff like that. No biting, no clawing, no fighting, no major magic use. 
No large weapons, no familiars, no exorcisms or summonings, no possession of other customers, and of course no smoking. It's all on the list right there. Yep, and as the owner, I have discretion to refuse service to anyone for any reason. But I've only rarely had to do that. Oh, it's happened once or twice. Nothing major, just... Well, there was this one time a sleep demon was in here, pretending to just hang out, but she was really slipping things into customers' drinks. Oh yeah, roofies and such. She was trying to knock people into unconsciousness so she could do her sleep demon thing. Like, I know that's your core competency, sweetie, but this isn't the place to be doing that. And besides, drugs are totally cheating. She knew better. Well, I warned her a few times, but in the end, I just had to make this place invisible to her again. Now she can't come back even if she wants to. She'll have to go back to doing her actual job on the humans of the world. I don't have much sympathy for her. Nope, definitely not. Anyway, this has been a really fun chat, but I should probably get on with some other things. Yell if you need me, though. I won't be far. No, <laughs> you don't have to yell. In fact, just think my name. I'll hear you. Because I can. Don't ask. <laughs> Enjoy your drink. And hey, welcome again to the domain. <laughs> <laughs>